Yo, what's going on guys? Psychopuckle here, bringing you another uh, Genshin Impact video. So, we got hype news finally. Um, super excited. We are going to get a... It looks like we're getting the approaching guest star version 1.1 patch preview. There's going to be a, um, a live preview on October 30th, which is a Friday, at 20 o'clock, which is 10... 8 p.m. 8 p.m.? 8 p.m. Uh, I don't know what, what daylight time or whatever that it's in, but it's probably like Chinese beta time. I don't know. I have to look. But that's where it's going to be at. Pause alerts real quick. All right. On, okay. The preview of live broadcast of the original God version 1.1 will start soon. This live broadcast will preview the updated content in the version of 1.1 for everyone. And... And the redemption code will be dropped in the live broadcast. Don't miss it. Probably free Primo Gems or more something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but I'll have the link to this uh, video right here on the Billy Billy link right here in the description below. So you can have that. And uh, we'll see it. Uh, so I I'm excited. We finally are getting uh, some info on that. Nothing on the U.S. servers right now. Uh, it's uh, 4.42 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 10.28. We don't have anything yet. But... Uh, there's a lot of leaks that have been out there regarding 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, let's go over some of the things that uh, that were in 1.1 1 .1 leaks real quick. It's funny you search 1.1 1 .1 leak and literally it comes up as the first thing. <laughs> like don't, there's no like Dota or like <laughs> League of Legends. It's just straight into Genshin Impact. Well, just a rehash on there. Of course, Zhang Li and Child are the characters that were teased. If you're wondering what the characters that were teased, that's who they are. Uh, there were some other things that were the chat released as far as like some issues, some gameplay, all that stuff. There's some new characters that were teased on the Chinese servers, and these are all possibilities that could be coming with 1.1. There's also some issues with the resin system to be changed, etc. Uh, there is the resin cap increasing for the bowl meme, where you, of course, you're getting a bigger bowl for not having enough resin. Uh, and they're giving us a bigger bowl so that we can have fill our resin in. And a lot of people are very upset with that. So, what I can tell you is what I'm excited for. First off, I am excited for your boy Child if he's coming in 1.1. I hope he comes. He is a water-based archer character that has a stance change into a, um, a melee character with two swords. If you haven't seen it in the gameplay section of the arc, it will happen in Leeway pretty early in the story in Leeway, so check it out. It was very, very cool. You'll actually see his animations, and it's fire. The second thing, we've got Zhang Li, the, the most broke dude in all of Leeway. If you haven't gotten to that part in the story yet, of course, I will not spoil it for you, but he is the brokest dude out there. And... He's kind of cool. Now, a lot of people, of course, have been asking for Zhao because they want to know what's up with Zhao because they've been seeing him all over. There's a lot of things for Zhao. Where's Zhao? When's Zhao coming? And, um, all right. So, this is the, um, this came out, I think, about... All right, so this part's a spoiler if you haven't seen it yet. This came out on April 3rd, directly from the Genshin Impact channel uh, in 2020. So this is a long time ago this came out. This is the, the Lantern Festival event. I'm going to like, lower down the volume a little bit. Um, this is where we saw Zhao initially. And I believe this Lantern Festival event comes in February. This whole event is... Uh, let me tune up the, the settings here for a little, yes. This whole, this whole event is a great event that, uh, that they were talking about. A lot of people are excited about this, not excited about this. There's um, Did I hit 1080? I don't think I hit 1080. Let's hit 1080. My bad. Um, a lot of people were really excited about that. With Zhao... Uh, he was previewed very heavily here. You can see there's Paimon and stuff. I think that's one of the... Where is he? I think he's... Oh, there's the lantern. That's a bitchin'. That's nice. I like that. That's nice. But this happens in February. So, the thought is that Zhao will be happening in February because of this right here. And uh, when talking to other YouTubers, other, co other content creators, people are thinking that he may come out later because um, in the release order of the characters, th there's no reason for him to come out super early. No, because we really haven't seen too much of him in the game, actually. There he is right there on the field. There's Zhao chilling out, having a great time, looking his husbando self. Big flex. All right, weird champ. Don't tell my wife. All right. The Lantern Festival is gorgeous. I really like the way they did this, and I hope they come out with more events like this because this is a great thing to see in here. Very, very cool. So 
the lantern event you can see there's like they, they they went over in this website link right here this is from the this is actually directly from yoyo's website i'll link this of course in the description below so you can check it check it out and see it um there's the uh there's some ming jong lanterns a big old lantern festival to reflect what happens in the spring lantern festival which is a chinese festival and if you didn't know if uh the the leeway city of course is based on china so it, and uh, the different regions in the game are based on different con uh, countries in the world and this is one of the regions that it's kind of reflecting so potentially that's when uh, Zhao could come out, and that's when uh, a lot of content creators as well myself think that he may be coming out. All the changes we've, course, we've seen, of course, there's resin, of course, being dialed back down on the uh, original resin missions. Uh, if you saw them in the previous missions, from 1600 down to 1200, we've seen that. And a lot of uh, these are for the Battle Pass weekly missions. There's been teased a custom teleport item that allows you to put a waypoint on the map somewhere that allows you to just like teleport to that location. I believe it's on a weekly cooldown. Um, I don't know if this is going to be confirmed in 1.1. Again, don't know, but it is something that they have talked about. Okay. There's also a new style of multiplayer that's going to be coming out soon. I believe that was the Elite Child event, potentially. I'm not quite sure, but there could be a new style of multiplayer. Uh, there's locking equipment, uh, a map marking function. You can check for monsters, enemies, and plants and stuff like that. Food and medicine, short marking function. These are all, like, apparently things that are coming. And bug fixes for to fixing the damage of hydro and electro. And these are all disclosed from, the apparently, the Japanese Twitter. I didn't see these, but, you know, these are things that I'm just learning myself now. Maybe. All right, now the now this is the important section. Now the the these are unconfirmed updates, and these are the things that are like throwing the community through turmoil for the last month or so. And these are the things that no one knows are true. Okay, daily resin claim. Now the the daily resin claim is where you would go to say Catherine in uh, the Adventures Hall and getting daily resin. This is unconfirmed. Private messaging system also unconfirmed. Ability to see friends who are online also unconfirmed. Well, actually, you can do that already. So like, why are you what? You can do that already. You just open the game it's right there so uh, what anyways an ultra graphic setting for 60 fps play on android i don't know if that's gonna happen but maybe a main line uh, main storyline quest after rank 30 i think that that's happening in 1.1 i'm not 100 on that but they, they, they said they're gonna add a new story in 1.1 so i'm assuming um new events with rewards such as uh, such as a wing glider new character zhang li again that part is non-confirmed and we are still on the fence of that but a lot of people are pretty convinced about zhang li and child because they've beta testers and leaks and all that crap but uh, those are those are a little bit more likely all right um new events characters english name unknown uh, Kimball air 42 this is what do you mean this is uh, Ay ayaka or whatever ayaka yeah uh this one big asterisk new event reward character at air 42 we're all kind of really on the fence of getting a free ayaka and like that's probably not true but like imagine um fixable travel geo skill also probably not true and a fixed texture error also not very true and they sourced it from demon kim we all got it from the same information from the same website all this stuff we've all gotten from the same place all of this is all unconfirmed data do not believe this stuff is coming okay grain of salt in this this is all the stuff we're like maybe if some of this stuff comes awesome if none of it comes don't get mad other updates so you know what's gonna happen in 1.2 dragon spine which is located below don winery is going to be added in 1.2 uh this is ayaka which is the uh, the character that they mentioned they also teach Dan's Life as well. So Dan's Life is a very, very cool character that they did tease. This is an officially released character that they had released on the Chinese servers. When we were watching it, there was actually a huge thing about this character. So he is a character that is coming at some point. Uh, we don't know too much about him. Um, but if you want to read lore and try to find out that, let me know in the comment section about, my, about that character. The other character, of course, Xin Yang, which is the four-star character, was the Pyro Claymore and Diona, which is going to be a cryo bow user, uh, both of which are going to be very interesting characters to see coming forward in the game i think that the four star characters are the most interesting characters coming forward because we're gonna be we're gonna be seeing well, a big we're seeing a big trend right now in the youtuber community where there's a huge difference in how people are doing things okay so there's a big uh big stir in the community right now for youtube and stuff like that i'll go over in a separate video probably in the next video about uh what's going on uh essentially mtash is quitting his big account with a lot of uh, 
A lot of dollars spent, like over $7,000 spent. Uh, check out his video on that. He goes over exactly why. Tactone kind of responded to that video. Big community presence, of course, that he's he's going to stay whaling, of course, and Zeal's, of course, hopping on the train um, with, uh, with four-star characters. So there's a huge trend all across the YouTube community of people going more free-to-play, and I'm going to be talking about that in a separate video. But the reason that it's really important to know and the reason that uh, I'm more excited about the four star characters is because these are the attainable characters for everyone. These are characters that everyone has a chance of getting. The five star characters, let's be honest, there's the snowball's chance in hell that you're going to actually get them unless you're a whale and this is spending two to four hundred dollars. There's no way that you're going to have a really good chance of getting them and they don't give enough free to play gems out there for people to really even consider getting them. So uh, I'm more excited about Diona as well as Yin Yen because I want to know how they're going to work. I want to play those characters because they are the attainable, interesting characters. Well, my name is Sekapoko. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this, this video was informative, help you guys out, and give you some information on what you what's going to happen in the future and what I'm going to be focused on going forward. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Peace.